Mohammed Ibrahim Shire. He's a lecturer in security risk management at Portsmouth University and joins me now from the UK. Thank you so much for your time, Mohammed. Now, there have been attacks on Turkish workers in the past. Just talk us through why these workers now seem to be a target and how it relates to the overall security situation in Somalia. Well, the thing is, um, Ashabab's primary um, um, reason for attacking um, the Turkish national and even the Somali national that were working um, um, on the road that connects uh, Mogadishu and Afgoya is just to derail it. I mean, remember, they have done this before on the 18th of Jan last year, where it led to the suspension of the project uh, until its resumption in July the same year. So al Shabaab is trying to recreate that uh, outcome. Um, also, the fact that the Mogadishu mayor has also said a couple of weeks ago that the project will be finalized um, in the next um, couple of, uh, in the next several weeks. Now, this attack is not a necessary reflection of uh, um, Somali's poor security landscape. Again, I think that uh, Somali security has improved considerably for the past five years, especially if you compare to the frequent attacks that al Shabaab conducted in Mogadishu, uh, demonstrates that security in general has improved, but also demonstrates that al Shabaab has seen, seems to be expanding into other areas. Uh, we have seen some more attacks in other cities, some other cities outside the capital, including Galkayo, uh, Beidovo, and so on. So Al Shabaab seems to be having difficulty in trying to con uh, conduct sustained attacks in Mogadishu because of the fact that the security has improved in general and, and the capacity of the security forces mm -hmm. um, um, well. And now, Somalia will hold its elections on the 8th of February. Do you expect to see more violence from al Shabaab ahead of the, that, that vote, despite um, security actually seeming to have improved in the last few years? Absolutely. I mean, one of the main uh, trademarks of al Shabaab is that it steps up its attacks uh, during the election season. They've done that in 2017. They've also done it in 2012. Uh, so we'll see definitely more violence from the group, but that's not indicative of the group's um, status. Obviously, Al Shabaab has the capacity to conduct the large-scale attacks, but not to the same scale um, and, 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 and capacity that they had, let's say, two, five years ago. Uh, so we'll definitely see more increased attacks in the coming weeks and the coming ones, uh, sort of months, Tar not only um, suicide bombing, but also the fact that they're going to be targeting uh, delegates uh, that will be voting for the um, uh, MPs. Mm -hmm. So, Mohammed, how might regional developments like the U.S. military withdrawal from Somalia and Ethiopia's internal conflict now impact Somalia's security? Um, well, the fact is, uh, I don't think that Ethiopia's conflict will have a necessary impact on Somalia. Remember that uh, Ethiopia hasn't actually reduced its troops uh, that were part, that form part of the Amazon uh, contingent. Uh, it still has considerable um, troops across the border. Uh, moreover, when it comes to the, U um, the United States' decision to withdraw uh, from Somalia, that does not mean that there's a change in the U U.S. policy towards, um, toward, towards their counterterrorism policy in Somalia. It just means that, and I, and I see this as a more of a civil line, I believe that it gives the Dana uh, commandos um, an opportunity to actually um, um, conduct um, uh, operations on their own and also send a strong message that Somali security forces are getting gradually um, better at maintaining security. So I think I see it more as a civil line um, um, when it comes to Somali security landscape. Mm -hmm. And I believe that the Dana forces have now have a perfect opportunity to showcase their, uh, um, their, 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 their capacity in, in battling al Shabaab and ISIS. Mohammed Ibrahim Shire, live to us there from Portsmouth. Thank you so much for your time and your analysis.